Hello and welcome to Satyush Reviews. Here I have an Oki Sports Action Camera. I believe this should do a 4K recording, so I'm gonna test this out for sure. And here we have uh, some sticker. It says Oki Action Camera 40 dot 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 ITO camcorder. Okay, yeah, well, it's, it's not a camcorder. Camcorder is what you hold in your hand like that. Well, you can hold it in the hand, but that's not a camcorder. That's just a uh, camera. So, uh, let's try to open this thing up and see what it's all about. New sports action cameras are pretty popular nowadays, so let's see what this this one does. Get rid of this thing in here, right. Um, ooh, look at that. Nice box, nice box. Do 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 I'm gonna just take all this out. Look at that. <clears throat> this is the famous Oki sticker. It's like a key thing. I keep showing this on every video in here. See, so it uh, comes out like this, and then you can uh, stick the key in the hole. Yes. Uh, how do you open this thing then? Okay, there we go. See, this opens differently. Uh, so let's take the camera out from its protective case. See, it has some. Um, uh, peekaboo sticker on it. <laughs> Shit, peekaboo sticker. <laughs> uh, it has this thing on it. Take this off. And this, this, this is a lot heavier than the other one. Yeah, definitely. Maybe it's the battery. But let's see where is the battery. The battery is here, I think. I just want to see. Uh, ow, wow, 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 wow. Uh, that's the battery, I think. Yeah, I just, I just want to touch everything. You know, I like it. See, that's the battery. Let's see how much is it. Here we have it. It is 10,000 milliamp hours, which is not that much, to be honest. Uh, battery can only go in one way. Uh, before you do put it in, make sure, see the pin things in there. Make sure that these pins are lined up. If you smoosh it in there, wrong side, then you might just smoosh those contacts. But um, there we go. So let's stick this thing back in here. There we go. Did I do something wrong? I think I did. Never mind. I think I did something wrong, but never mind. So uh, we have OK uh, in here. Uh, there are the cables. It takes two USBs. Look at that. Is it the USB? Uh, no, that's that's an HD out. I didn't even check. That's some weird weird block which I haven't seen before. That's the SD. Doesn't come with SD card, unfortunately. So. Uh, right, let's see what uh, all this stuff is before I even uh, do something. Oh, is that a remote controller? Nice. Yeah, that's a remote controller, guys. I already know how this works. Uh, if I can just, there we go. And I don't know if this is waterproof. See, it obviously shows the video and uh, this thing. Yeah, I don't know if that's supposed to sit on your hand. I mean, you can put it in here if you want, see. But yeah, this this is one bad thing already. I don't like this, see. Yeah, I think this this belt is not meant for your hand after all. Yeah, it's not. It's meant for like some small things. I don't know what things, but uh, um, I would prefer if it would go on your hand. But uh, well, you can put it anywhere. See, so you just pull this through from here, like so. You just put this around anything, and then clip this on, and that's how it is. So, right. Uh, these are the normal, you know, clip things. This this is very useful. I've been using this for my drone videos, by the way, with the other Oki camera. Uh, what I do with this thing, see the camera clips in here like so. Oh yeah, this clips better. See, it clips like this. Uh, then you can mount it. Uh, it's actually loose in here. That's that's not that good. See. Yeah, that's that's not good at all because it's gonna rattle if you like move around. It's gonna rattle like this. So the noise is going to be rattly. I don't like this. But you can always put something under it, like a piece of paper or anything, really. But uh, this thing, yeah. See, and also you have the screen slot in here, so you can see the screen. That's that's what it's for. You can slide it on other, you know, connectors and stuff. But uh, what I did with this one is I'm using the... I'll show you which one I'm using with the other one, which is very useful. I'm just showing you all the attachments. They're similar to the GoPro ones. Uh, this is the audio cover. I call it the audio cover. So don't use this uh, if you go like underwater or something. See this caps in here. 
these are for audio because these cases they seal off the audio pretty well if it sits in this case then it's you know the audio is muffled and this case in here it does protect it from like uh, most of the stuff not like running water obviously but see these caps in here they make the audio come through better so if you want to replace it then you can replace it with this one okay so uh, let's turn it on then I think it's um, just press the power button and let's see Okay. Uh, it doesn't have what to say. Yep, it has no card, but um, I'm gonna just go through the settings real quick. Let's see. Uh, there we go. That's settings, I believe. There we go. Yep, video resolution. See. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll try to show it better, but I'm not sure how well I'm showing. Uh, this is um, video resolution, so let's check. Uh, there we go look at that 4k 25 fps 2.7k <laughs> i'm gonna definitely do a video test on this one so um we have loop uh, video loop video on and off time stop exposure uh what's this um photo resolution it's very difficult to show it in the camera but uh, oh yeah time lapse that's good uh, I'm not sure what this uh, second is. Is that uh, how often it takes the pictures? I think the time lapse. I need to test this, but uh, basically that's what it is. How I'm gonna get out of this this screen then? Uh, probably the power button. Let's try. Yep, the power button is back. Uh, it only has four buttons, so it's not a rocket science really. Continuous lapse. What what's this then? On and off. Uh, what's what's this thing? Uh, power frequency, that's the hertz thing, language, date and time, sound indicator, uh, upside down, so you can flip the screen if you want, screen saver, power save, screen saver is accurate, it just turns the screen off after some time, so I can show you, see. Uh, one minute it is, power save, format, this for the card, and that's all there is, the options, so, uh, whoops, okay, there we go. But, uh, yeah, those are the options, I need to charge the battery a little bit and then give you a demo it's very bad it comes with an empty battery but um yeah i'm gonna uh, charge it a little bit and then give you a demo on this one okay it looks a lot better than the other oki camera to be honest i think it's like smoother and nicer and it's also heavier which means it's usually you know uh, cooler i definitely want to try out the 4 a for it so and I will do the underwater test, so I will see you in a second. Well, I think it's uh, time to give this one a go. I have a 64 gigabyte SD card in here. It's not included, like I said before, so um, just that you know it goes the other way. It goes this way. And it just clicks in like usual. I mean, if you don't know that, then you're a donut, but that's okay. So um, I'm going to first do a 1080p record test and go underwater with it because you don't need to see it in 4K. I will record the clip in 4K. I will do some uh, 4K clips for you. And it's going to go as a separate video because this video is going to be in 1080p. There is no point like upscaling this entire video to 4K just to show you this clip. But I will put the link in the description just for the 4K uh, test clip. So uh, check it out in the description. It's going to be a short clip, probably like a minute, and uh, different like scenery, like inside, outside, so you can just see the quality. I have to show it in 4K in case someone has a 4K monitor and actually wants to enjoy it in 4K. So, uh, let's turn it on. Let's put it into this thing first, or well, first or last or whatever. Uh, make sure it's nicely sealed. So, I have to put it like this, and then it clips on and it pulls it together and see this clip is a little bit different it just doesn't clip out it's improved uh, even GoPro doesn't have it so you can't just pull it up you have to pull this thing say this arrow thing in here and then it pops up so it's just a security measure that if it's like you know goes against something it doesn't you know pop out like this but um, I'm gonna turn this thing on now so uh, that's the on button in here so here is a bowl of water bowl of water <laughs> said it's so weird on purpose but i'm gonna start recording it in um in let's let's do it like this because i, I have to synchronize it so it's um uh whatever i'll record it and it's uh, three two and one that is to synchronize the video if you don't 
get it and whatever. So uh, here it goes. It goes under the water. It's in there. Uh, right, let's turn it upside down. See, no bubbles, which means it is completely see, it's even floating because there's obviously air in there. And that's that's how it works, guys. It's under the water. And this should be a cool scenery for you if I uh, do this. Like lift it a little bit like that. Uh, that would be pretty cool, I think. I will show it in, in that thing too, obviously. The camera view. Uh, so let's... Uh, it's tripping, man. It's tripping. It's tripping, tripping, tripping. Right, and the other quality test is to get rid of this water in here first. So I'm going to put this camera. See, it's still recording. It just turned the screen off. I'm going to put this camera right next to this one in here. The review one. And this is the Oki camera I did a review before. That's a 1080p camera. Uh, this, why I'm showing this is to just show you the quality of this camera. I, I'm going to put like side by side or like one and then other so you can actually see the quality of this action cam not this one the other one i'm just showing this to like check the quality compared to my uh, sony review camera which i'm using so uh here we have it uh, close up right i think that's done let's uh, stop this uh, see the screen is still on so it is totally waterproof so you can still see the splashes on it i'm gonna show you the app in here uh, you need to download this app in here. It's called iSmart TV. Uh, you need to install it, obviously. Uh, you can scan the QR code in here if you want in the manual, and it's going to take you to the right place. So this thing, let's turn the camera on. It's charging right now. That's why it's like um, in there. So the uh, cable is too short, as you can see. But uh, you press this button in here, the Wi-Fi button. It says Wi-Fi on, then leave the camera alone. Then on the phone, we go into the wireless settings. VLAN, wireless LAN, yeah, right. Uh, you have this uh, Oki, uh, uh, this thing in here, see, Oki ACLC2. You click on it. The password is uh, 12345. Whoops, I can't see. Show password. I put um, uh, something else in there. 456789 and 0 and connect and it should connect obtaining ip address um very useful yes connected then we get out of this one then we go back and go into them back into the app uh, add a new camera i believe uh already connect to camera by wi-fi i already did connect it so uh processing let's see what it does Connection, the camera failed. Please ensure Wi-Fi connection is working. Well, it is fucking working. What what else do you want? Um, it says Wi-Fi connection ready. So so now what? Uh, I don't know. It didn't. Okay, never mind. Uh, I have this uh, cool thing in here called firewall. See, so I didn't allow it. I need to allow this thing. See, and I think now it did something. I saw something blink on the camera. So let's try again. Uh, Wi-Fi connect. Processing, yes, there we go. See, that's that's the camera image. So if I put that in there, it has a small delay, as you can see. See, you can also see me in there. But uh, let's see if I can change anything through that. Let's see. Um, uh, preview, that's a preview. No, I don't want to see preview. How would I go back? Um, bam, bam, bam. It's pretty cool. You can add new cameras in here. That's just awesome. Uh, so um, I'm not sure how to change all this. Let's see, settings. Uh, yep, you can change that, see, video size, so you can change it, yeah, that's that's a true 4K, see, it says the resolution, so, but yeah, I'm going to change it from here, and then I'm going to move on with this to show you the quality, like I said, it's going to be a different clip, unless uh, it's the 1080p one, I mean, you already saw it anyway, so, but yeah, that's how the app works, and also it has one cool function I did not mention, which is that you can use it as a webcam, so the way you can use this as a webcam is you simply connect it to a PC. I took it off the review area so I can actually connect it up and show you. You connect the cable into the USB thing. The other thing is obviously in the PC. It automatically turns on, as you can see. I'm not sure if there's something on it, but I think you have to press C. The connecting in here, uh, you just press the power button once. Uh, come on, focus camera. This connecting in here means that it's uh, as a USB drive or whatever, you can connect the videos. 
And if you press it again, it was uh, sorry, this button here. See, it says PC camera. It's this uh, button top. Uh, connecting this means it's like a drive, and this thing in here it means it's a PC camera. It obviously installs the uh, drivers automatically, at least if you're on Windows 10, and then you can use this in like Skype or anywhere. It just acts as a USB camera, that's all. So, like the plug and play camera, there's nothing to show on the PC, it's just a plug and play camera if you have it on the PC mode. Well, I think the quality is pretty cool. I still don't know what these things are. I didn't find anything in the manual about this. There may be some kind of, you know, um, sensors about the exposure or something, because this is definitely not flash. I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know. I didn't find any info about it, but, um, but I think it's a pretty cool camera. The 4K resolution could be clearer, but, uh, well, here you have this cool Oki uh, 4K action camera, and I will see ya next time.